Hi, my name is Scott Schramm and with Continental Access Control and we're here to talk about our new software and our new features that are going to be coming out in our new 2.9 software package. To start off with, with the 2.9, we still have our full enterprise-based solution, but now we are going to be adding on our new single door controller with Rex on the, on the handle and door position switch. Of course, we still have our enterprise NAPCO integration. Do the single tap, double tap, arm it up so we're ready to go. We also have our two-door panel and our 816, and of course, we have our video integration. With the new 2.9 software, we now have multiple video integration partners. We are now will be integrated with Milestone, the entire Pelco line, of course, Salient, Dedicated Micros, and Hytron. We're very excited about our new panel offering. We will have our new Excel term being out shortly. In the 2.9a, it is in the software with our new panel. So we now have an eight door panel expanded to 16 doors. The new Continental controller, the new Accel term, is based on our accelerator board. The accelerator board will be hanging flat on the can. We will have an eight door panel standard, and then we can add the new eight door add-on board for a total of 16 access control points out of one can. This will also give me additional 10 amps of backup power supply for our batteries and up to 40 supervised inputs. Our newest controller is the Net Wireless Networks LOX. This is a single door controller that made by alarm lock that once flashed with the Continental firmware actually becomes a single door controller. I want to go over real quickly the simplicity of setting up this lock. To begin with, all we need to do is we have a gateway. The gateway can handle up to 63 locks within a 200 foot radius. We go to the wireless lock configuration. We open it up. Here we can discover our locks. As you notice here, I've already discovered my gateway. It tells me that the static IP address tells me right here that it is online and we're ready to program from there. From there then I can go to my locks, locate all my locks. It will then go out, it will find the locks that it's looking for and we can then download the firmware. Once that's done, we can then display all the configured locks. It'll actually give me the signal strength of the lock itself, so then I know if I have a good connection. Anything above a 30 and we're good, this lock, of course, I'm getting a transmit signal of 80. It is right close, but as you understand from there. Once I have programmed in my lock, flashed the firmware into the lock, it is now set up ready to act as a panel. From there then, I go to my configuration and I go to my panel screen. Once I brought down my panel line, I can now go to the lock and it already has put in, it has put in the um, static IP address of the gateway, it tells me what it is, gives me the lock ID number. I can now change it to manually set in or real time, meaning when I present a card, immediately I will see that transaction. What makes this unique, what's new, what we did not have before, is when I go to the readers itself, I now have the capability of having a door position switch and a Rex built into the handle. So now the lock itself, I will have a Rex in the handle. And then I will also have a capability of running a wire out of the lock to my door position switch, knowing when the door is open or closed. Our last but not least uh, new feature in the Card Access 3000 software is being able to run as a service. When we go into our database utilities, we can then go to our general settings tab. We can go to our set services. Now, if you notice in our set services, we can now run as a service our NAPCO integration, the CIC data services, the video service, the comm service, archive, NAPCO integration, scripting, and wireless lock service. We can now run as a service inside of the Card Access 3000. In closing, I wanted to let you know with the Card Access 3000 software, we can do the full enterprise integrated solution with the typical Card Access 3000 software from a single door, two to four to eight to 16 door controllers to the gateways, which can handle up to 63 locks per gateway with 53 gateways per system, and then to fully integrate into the NAPCO Berg, which gives us full integration with arming, disarming through a Berg, Berg panel to the new NAPCO Berg fire controller panels.